Hello all, Shoestring here. Today I want to talk about the basic function of an inverter, an off-grid inverter. They all work pretty much the same, but I want to walk through it because I've received a lot of questions and a lot of comments on my channel about these off-grid inverters. So we're just going to do the basic functions, okay? The off-grid inverter really is nothing on its own. As you can see, it's just a box. The inverter needs a power source in order to function. This usually includes one or more batteries. But there are other power sources you can use, such as wind or water. But today, we'll be using a battery for our power source. And it's very important to realize inverters cannot do anything without a power source. On their own, they're basically nothing. Okay, so here is how an inverter works. First, your solar panels feed power into the batteries, and it is stored as DC power, direct current. However, most household appliances and devices can't use DC current, so it takes an inverter to turn that DC power from a battery into AC power, which is what you have in your house, and that's basically what this box is for. So let me stress again, this cannot do anything unless it's connected to a power source, a DC power source. So it takes DC power, like solar from a battery, and turns it into AC power, such as the devices you use in your house. And that's how these off-grid inverters basically work. Now, what I'm going to do now is show you how to connect it. And as I do it, we're going to talk about some details. As you can see, this inverter here, right, it has two plug-ins, just like you normally have in your house. And it has a fan for, power, for cooling it down. You also have two connections to connect the cables to your battery. Red, of course, is positive. Black is negative. And this little screw right here is for your ground. Most of the time, you won't be using them unless you have a big battery backup system, but they're useful if you do need to. Now, as we do this, I'm going to walk you through how I connect this, and we're going to be discussing a few things. First thing we're going to discuss is inverters. Off-grid inverters like this comes in two different types. There are the pure sine wave inverters and modified sine wave. A pure sine wave is used for delicate devices, such as medical devices. Pure sine wave is about the same sine waves that come into your house that the electricity company sends. And they're also the most expensive. Modified sine wave, such as this one, are a lot less expensive, but they are not as good if you need delicate things, like medical equipment. Most items in your house, though, modified sine wave will work just fine. It's what I mostly use. So as you can see, I've now connected the positive, and I've connected the negative. We're now going to connect it to the battery. Remember, again, box means nothing unless it's connected to a power source. We're going to connect the positive first. Sometimes when you connect the negative, you'll get a little spark. Don't worry about it. It happens just like that. All right, so they're now connected. Positive to positive, negative to negative. And we're going to go to the inverter, and we're going to turn it on. This one has an LED light. They don't all have LEDs. This is showing how much voltage is in the battery, 13.1. So this is fully charged. But... You also have to keep in mind, if you have one with one of these LEDs, that's going to draw more power. So if you're conserving power, you may want to consider if you do it or not. Okay, so it's hooked up. Let's see if it works. We're going to take a standard little cell phone, plug it in. It is now plugged in. And as you can see, hopefully you can see it's starting to come on. It's starting to charge. You can see the blue line go across. 
and the little battery symbol there, you'll see we'll start to have lights appear and blue blocks as well, showing that it is charging. So this inverter is now working. It will charge your cell phones. It will charge your laptops. It will charge your computers. This happens to be a 900 watt inverter. So it will do small appliances as well. You can also, of course, connect this to a light or a fan. I try to help people with small budgets take care of emergency situations like when the power goes out. That happens more and more often. These are relatively inexpensive. You can get a standard battery, battery relatively inexpensive, and you can connect a fan or you connect the light. Keep your cell phone charged in case of emergencies. Okay, that's the basic function of the inverter. If you have any questions, please put it down in the comments. I get a lot of my ideas for what I'm going to do for my next video from what's in the comments. So please put them in there. If you like this type of video, please subscribe and like it. And shoestring 